Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and let's make a quick and easy project using two 10 inch squares of fabric which means we can use pre-cuts and a little piece of ribbon. Let's make a weighted doorstop. So I have two 10 inch pieces of fabric and a piece of ribbon and it's about 12 inches long. I need to find the center of one of those ends overlap that ribbon and place the center in that center mark and pin that down with the pin head sticking out place that second 10 inch square on top of the other pin the layers together and stitch a row down the sides not along the ribbon edge but down the sides now you can use a quarter inch 5 8 inch whatever seam allowance you feel comfortable using. Just start at the top and stitch right down. So we now have this tube shape. We need to take those centers to the top and move them in. So we're going to move those in. And really you can use whatever measurement you want. I'm going to move them in so that the centers are touching that ribbon. Do that second side, bring it over. My ribbon is an inch thick, but you can use whatever ribbon you'd like. Now just put that right back over top. So we're making two pleats coming into the side. Match up the side seams. It doesn't have to be real, real precise. And stitch down that top. I would recommend two rows of stitching because that's going to have some weight on the ribbon. This area where we have tucked that seam and have the ribbon will be the top. So for the bottom, open this up and match those edges. Cut out a two inch square. That two inch measurement is going to go right from those raw edges over. We're gonna stitch a little bit in this bottom. I'd recommend stitching over a little bit and then going down and same on the other side. So you're making these L's. That opening needs to be two and a half inches to three inches because that's where we're going to fill everything. By stitching this little L, it's going to help turn that seam allowance over and we don't have to back stitch here. So I have those two L's with that space in between. To finish off the bottoms, put your fingers in those squares that you cut out and pull so that those seams line up. And have one seam go in one direction and one seam go in the other. And match those seams. And do that to both sides. Now we're going to be able to stitch close those sides. So the only thing that's going to be open is the center piece. So when we look at it, we have that square bottom with that side. This is the top, this is the bottom. Turn it right side out, poke out all those corners. Just grab that ribbon and start pulling everything out. It does have a funny shape right now, but we're going to be able to stuff it. We do not need to fill this whole thing with something heavy. So I'm going to start with a handful of batting and just put it in so it's up near the top. That batting is going to give that top some shape but we don't need a lot of it. So we now have this little opening that we need to put something heavy in. And I like to use kitty litter. This one is made with walnut shells. I'm gonna use a kitchen funnel. Just put it in that hole. Now we can use little stones, anything that has some weight to it. Those pebbles or kitty litters going to sort of go in around that batting. You do want it heavy enough to hold the door closed or open, so you'll have to judge on how much you're going to put in here. The kitty litter takes about three cups, but if you do stones, it might take a little less. This bag does not need to be filled all the way. We're just looking at the weight. When we're finished filling whatever we need, take those two little scraps of fabric and put them in the bottom. Just sort of lay them there. You kind of want them in the same part as this opening is going to be. If 
by stitching that L seam, those seams are already in. So we just need to close that pin. You can close that off now with a whip stitch or a running stitch. Those little fabric pieces that we put right there on the bottom are going to help the dust or little pieces not come out of this hand stitching. So for the first time we flip it over, just hold down and flip. And that way we're holding those little pieces of fabric in place. And flip. So just give it a good shake so all of the kitty litter or stones or whatever we've put in is going to go to the bottom and that batting is going to stay up at the top so it's still giving it that shape. By putting in those little squares it's preventing that dust or little stones from coming out. And we have that nice little V on the front on each side. A good flat bottom and a handle. And it all started with two 10 inch squares of fabric and a little piece of ribbon. You could use ribbon, you could even use rope. Anything that you could stitch over top. It's such a quick and easy project and it looks nice. We can have the fabric matching the room that this is going to sit in. And just sitting there on its own, it does look nice. And there's still lots of room if we have a really stubborn door that we need to have a very heavy bag. You'll be able to judge the weight depending on what you put in it and judge the fabric to the room. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're working on next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.